I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. If it wasn't for Tony, Tony, oh. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a topic that I never really planned on talking about, you know, involving Aaliyah. And this is something that, you know, it's something that I don't really, I never, I paid attention to it, but I never was going to make a video about it. But it's something that recently happened where I said, I got to make a video about this. Y'all know how I am. I try to ignore stuff, but when I keep seeing it pop up, I feel like it's a sign. Or, oh, you know what? I feel like I got to give my two cents on it. So this is what I'm going to do. This is about people's fascination with Aaliyah's love life. You, know, you have celebrities you like. You have your favorite artists, right? Your favorite music artists. Specifically, your favorite music artists, right? And you like their music. You like their style. You like their music videos, their movies, whatever. They, whatever elements of entertainment they dealing with you like it right so that but when it comes to their real real personal lives like their love life who they're dating and all of that I never really been that type to really like care about that or to really be deep involved you know how the gossip blogs do and all these people they so they're so they're so intrigued to know who is this one dating who did this one used to date or blah 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 you know it's like a little I never been that type, and specifically with Aaliyah. And you, I know people. You would think Aaliyah, she died almost 20 years ago. Next year makes 20 years Aaliyah died, right? And you would think, okay, who's who still cares about who Aaliyah used to date? But you would be surprised because you look up Aaliyah. You know how many videos there are on Aaliyah and who she used to date and her love life and Jay Z and Dim and Dash and this one, that one, R. Kelly, all of that. It is. Before I did this video, I went to those videos, I looked through the comments, and I'm just like, wow, people going back and forth, arguing, cursing each other out, and all of this is about Aaliyah's love life. You know, you'll be amazed. I'm, I've never been that type to really, like, dig deep into it or really, like, care about that. I liked Aaliyah for who she was, I liked her personality, I liked her music, and I liked the image she gave to the public. I liked her persona, you know, her humbleness. You know, she was a superstar, but she never showed that. She was a superstar, but she never let that get to her head, you know. She remained humble. She was an innovator. She was a trendsetter. She was an icon. And she left that impact. She left that legacy to always be admired. You know what I learned? And I figured it out because I said, sometimes, you know, Aaliyah and Aaliyah fans and just, you know, the whole, everything with Aaliyah would be calm. Nobody would really be talking about her. She would be mentioning articles here and there. And, you know, every once in a while, something with Aaliyah comes up. But it wasn't until, and many of y'all know this, it wasn't until the Surviving R. Kelly documentary came out. The first part, it came out last year. They came out with a second part this year. It wasn't until the Surviving R. Kelly documentary came out where it went into, like, real, it went into full depth about Aaliyah's relationship with R. Kelly and all of that stuff. And, you know, they had, people had their own stories about what they saw happen. And, you know, the lady said, oh, she saw them on a tour bus doing this and, this one said, oh, he did this, and oh, they... I'm not going to get too deep into it because I've made a video separately about that. I'm going to leave it right here. But, basically, I'll say this. Because of that documentary, people, that was the R. Kelly Aaliyah scandal. That was a big industry scandal back in the day. 25 years ago, this happened, right? And all over the years... People, it's been one of those things that's been kind of swept under the rug. People knew about it, but people still supported R. Kelly. People still did whatever, right? His career soared. Aaliyah's career soared. You know, Aaliyah went one way. R. Kelly went the other way. You know, it was like, whatever. They had some type of legal agreement to never speak on it. Whatever, whatever. They each went their separate ways, and it was what it was. But, you know, all this time later, with the documentary, it brought up all this old... It brought up all this old gossip and all this old stuff. And, you know, you got new perspectives and new people coming in saying what happened, what they saw, what they did. And now I feel like it gave people, people are running with a narrative. People are creating narratives about Aaliyah. Like, oh, my God, she was pimped out. She was this. So, oh, my God, her parents pimped her out. Our uh, Kelly pimped her out. Oh, my God, poor Aaliyah, this, poor Aaliyah, that. And it's like, okay. And it's to the point where even as Aaliyah grew up, she wasn't a teenager no more. She was 20, 21, 22 people still felt like Aaliyah was in danger or Aaliyah was being pimped out or she was being passed around. And the thing that really set this off is, you know, a few days ago, 
rest in peace to Andre Harrell. He was a big music mogul and music legend. He was, and he founded a lot of big artists. He founded Uptown Records, and he was, you know, responsible for artists like Jodeci, Mary J. Blige, P. Diddy, you know, Damon Dash, who used to date Aaliyah back in 2001, before she passed. He made an Instagram post. He made this Instagram post. Now you see that picture with Aaliyah in the middle, and you see she's next to Andre Harrell. You see Dame Dash with, I guess, Natana Riz back in the day. I guess her name was, I think her name was Natane, Natani, Natana. And you see P. Diddy and J-Lo. But for some reason, you look through that comment section in his Instagram, people are going ham, people are going crazy. It's over a thousand comments. And most of the comments is like, oh my God, Aaliyah was in everybody bad. Oh, Aaliyah was fast. She was being passed around like a blunt. Oh my God, poor Aaliyah. She was being taken advantage of. Oh my God, oh, y'all think Aaliyah's innocent. This and that, oh my God. Oh, and then people going back and forth arguing about who Aaliyah was with. Oh, Aaliyah was, and I'm like, wow, really? Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Image, that was from a 2000 industry party, right? And to my belief, that's when Aaliyah first met Dame Dash. And you know, she was cool with Jay-Z or whatever. And it was what it was. Y'all know, Aaliyah was so protective and she was so private with her personal life, right? Movies coming out, you have mm -hmm. a new album coming out, you're mm -hmm. working on more movies. Mm -hmm. Does that leave any time for like boyfriends in your life? Well, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work, but you can make time for everything. Mm -hmm. So you, mm -hmm. so wait, wait. I'm, I'm gonna leave so it. So you have that. a boyfriend in your life? It's personal life. That's it's that's personal. the personal life no. that I don't really discuss. It is yeah. hard when you're in this business. You become you a public figure. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. everything you do belongs to the public, and mm -hmm. that's fine. But there's parts that you want to keep for you. So you know no doubt. No. No. So that's I keep good that for you that you're doing they that. They got me asking the hard questions. And no doubt. Gotta People ask. wanna know though. And she don't want him to know, so that's how it's going now. What? See how private she was with her personal life. In interviews, she didn't really like to talk about it. She was when she did an interview, she was there to promote her music, her albums, her movies, whatever she was working on. She didn't want to dig deep into who she was dating because what is that gonna do? She's there to promote her music and her projects. Knowing she was dating Dame Dash, what was that gonna do? It's just gossip. She didn't really care to share that. That was her personal life. That was for her, like she said. So people feel like because my, because Aaliyah was so mysterious and because of all that stuff that happened with R. Kelly all those years ago, she's 21, 22 now, right? People want to create their own narratives and say, oh, you think Aaliyah's innocent? She's not. She's no angel. This, you don't know. And here's the thing. Here's another thing. I'm a fan of Aaliyah, but I'm, I'm a fan of Aaliyah, but I'm also a realist, you know? A lot of people are fans of these artists and they, you know, they they want to defend everything, but I'm, I'm going to be real and honest and say, you know, Aaliyah portrayed a certain image to us, but in my heart's eyes, I believe she was that humble person she always showed to be. And I don't believe Aaliyah would be the type to be hopping from, hopping from rapper to rapper, from man to man, you know what I'm saying? That's just my belief. And another thing, like I said, we, we can say what we want, but none of us know what Aaliyah did behind closed doors. And to be honest, that's none of our business, right? But the way that people would take People took the R. Kelly situation in that documentary and they created this narrative to where Aaliyah was with everybody, everybody. And here's another thing. People are basing all of this off of pictures, right? It's not no, and it's like he say, he say, she say. This is all of a pictures. The fascination with Aaliyah's love life is something I'm like, wow, 20 years later, people, you look on these YouTube videos and these Instagram comments and even on Twitter, I've seen people posting a picture that Dame, that Dame Dash posted and people was like, oh, look at this picture. This is suspicious. Oh my God, look at Aaliyah, poor Aaliyah. Oh, she was just being passed around. Oh my God, I can feel, I'm like, for real? Off a picture? It's a picture, industry party. She just hanging on, a, she was sitting on like, I guess it was like a big bed, lounge bed, whatever. She just, you know, it's a fun picture that she took with her friends. J-Lo and Diddy right there, Andre Harrell right there. But y'all think, for some reason, y'all wanted to make it like a sexual thing and say, oh, Leah was being passed around. What? What? I'm like, where, where is this coming from? Like, what is the, where do you, what does y'all take on that? Like, what do y'all think about that where, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a, it'll be pictures of Jay-Z, right? The pictures of, you know, DMX and Aaliyah, right? It was the picture of them on the set of Come Back in One Piece. People, and I seen people, I seen somebody post that one time and it,
under the comments, people was like, oh yeah, DMX was hitting that. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? Or it's a picture with Genuine and Aaliyah when they was on tour. And people would be like, oh yeah, you know Genuine was hitting that. Oh, you know, you know they dated. Uh, it's just like, what is the fascination with Aaliyah's love life? Can somebody explain it to me? And I, from my, from my perspective, I think it's because Aaliyah was so private and all that situation with R. Kelly that people are creating all these false narratives and all these days just making up what they want to believe and people be really going ham. Like, they be really talking like Aaliyah was like some pass around. Did Aaliyah look like that type? Now, I'm not saying, like I said, we don't know what she did behind closed doors, but to me, did Aaliyah never look like the type to be hopping from rapper to rapper, athlete to athlete. See, what I think it is in this new generation, these people, a lot of, and it's, it's not even men, it's men and women that I've seen saying this. They have this thing where it's like, they think of like the IG models and people like Black China, where she's hopping from rapper to rapper and all these other IG models happen from rapper to rapper, R&B singer to R&B singer, athlete to athlete, you know, looking for the next come up, looking for the next, Aaliyah had her own career, she had her own money, she was building her own empire. So what would y'all believe, why would y'all think that Aaliyah was just hopping from rapper to rapper, like she was just with everybody in the industry. It was even a picture with Busta Rhymes. Y'all know the MTV icon Janet Jackson celebration, right? The MTV icon Janet Jackson celebration. There was a picture they took backstage. And you remember, Aaliyah came out to introduce Maya and all of them. It was a picture she took backstage and she, you know, she was like hugged up on, she was hugged up on Busta Rhymes. I'm gonna show you the picture right here. That picture, I remember people was like, oh my God, Aaliyah was a pass around. She was for everybody. I'm like, what? She's at an industry event. She's at an award show behind the scenes. She know these people, she talked to these people and she just took a, like a little friendly picture with him and because she took a friendly picture with him, she went out with him, she was with him. She was being passed around to everybody in the industry because she took pictures with them. I'm, these are pictures. It's pictures of, she took a lot of pictures, you know, she's an R&B singer, she's a rock, she was a big R&B singer, she's rising all the way up until mainstream, getting bigger and bigger in her career, and she's, you know, she's friendly, she was that type of person, she was friendly like that, and y'all think she took, y'all think she was with everybody, really? Oh my, it was even one time I remember, long time ago, you know, y'all know that picture she did with NSYNC, Justin Timberlake. And Lance, Lance Bass, Lance Bass, right? That picture she took with them. I remember somebody was like, oh, she must have been with him too. Because, oh, you know, Aaliyah was loose. She got around. I was just like, wow. So because of that documentary, because it, 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 it's simple as this. Because of the R. Kelly documentary, people have created this narrative where Aaliyah was so loose. And she put on this facade like she was an angel. And she was so sweet and humble. And all of that. When behind the scenes, she was hopping from rapper to rapper and everybody begged, nah, we're not gonna do that. From my perspective, Aaliyah was who she was. She learned from the R. Kelly situation. She learned from the R. Kelly situation. She moved on with her life. She moved on with her career. And it was what it was. I feel like to me, it was a time period where she didn't date anybody. She was just focused on her career. And you know, eventually she met Jay-Z, whatever. I don't believe that they really, you know, dated like that. They probably was friendly with each other. They probably went out on a, they probably went to events with each other, she danced with him, you can see pictures with her dancing with him, but I don't think it was anything that serious, I believe she friends on them, and it was what it was, you know what I'm saying, but for people, and it's like, uh, people, people, and I, I notice, a lot of women, but a lot of men would be like, oh, she was a jump off, she was a pop off, oh, she was a jump off, she was just hopping from the homies bed to bed, and yada, y'all, y'all think Aaliyah was an angel, y'all think she was innocent, but yeah, no, behind the scenes, she was in everybody bed, to create that false narrative on Aaliyah, she died 20 years ago, and people still taking us and running with it. And I'm telling you, y'all look under the comments of some of these videos, and some of these videos are recent, people going back and forth, cursing each other out, arguing. And all of this is over Aaliyah's love life. And I'm like, really? Y'all that fascinated by Aaliyah's love life that y'all really making all these false accusations, something you don't know about? You know what I'm saying? And it's not even, cause you can say, oh, like, you know, because we was younger, and you know, I was six when Aaliyah died, like, oh, we didn't really know, but it's like, all the stuff they had back then, they have now. You know, I was six, I don't remember everything like that, but you could always go back and look at the video clips, magazines, pictures, and from what I gathered, Aaliyah was just a friendly person, 
and she was real precautious about who she dated, especially after the R. Kelly situation. So she wasn't just going to be with everybody. And everybody who they people claim she was with even said, like she said, we were just friends. And Aaliyah, at the time, she was like falling in love with Dame Dash. He even said he was, on, he was planning on marrying her. But you know, because of what happened, that never got to, that never unfolded. But that's just my spill on it. That's just my two cents on it. I just felt like Aaliyah's love life was becoming too much of a fascination for people and people were really disrespecting her by like making all these false narratives. Remember, all that stuff that happened with R. Kelly, Aaliyah was a child. She was 14, 15 years old. And to my knowledge, I think she even met R. Kelly when she was like 12. So all the victim blaming and all that stuff and all of like the, you know, the slut shaming people try to do, not even with Aaliyah, but with, you know, just, you know, female, with like women in the industry in general, where people don't hold the men accountable. I'm not even talking about with that situation. I'm talking about in general. I just felt like it's a big problem and it's even spilled over into Aaliyah's life or, you know, Aaliyah's legacy, where people try to make R. Kelly Aaliyah's legacy. Like I said before, Aaliyah's legacy is bigger than surviving R. Kelly. We just have to let that go. That was 20 years ago. Aaliyah's no longer here. Let her rest in peace. And, you know, let's enjoy the music she left. Let's enjoy what she came to do. Let's enjoy the music she left us, you know? There's no sense in going back and forth about who Aaliyah dated, who she was with, and all these, you know, trying to make a, trying to create this, you know, Aaliyah wasn't, Aaliyah wasn't going to be the one to tell us, so you want to create it in your mind that she was with everybody, she was with all these rappers, and she was just, you know, she was like a homie hopper. We're not going to do that. That's what we're not going to do, okay? So anyway, like I said, that was just my spell on it. What are y'all feelings about that? And I know some of y'all have, y'all have got this, I know some of y'all seen that. And I wasn't going to make a video about this, but it's something I kept seeing. And I'm like, when I keep seeing something, y'all know how I do. I'm like, let me make a video about this. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is me. I got to give my opinion on this. And this is going to be it. You know, I made the other video about it. I'm making this video about it. I'm not going to talk about it no more. But it's something I had to address because I kept seeing it. So what do y'all take? What is y'all take on that? What do y'all think? Why do y'all think people are so fascinated with Aliyah's love life? And let me know what you think about it. Let's talk about it down below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can always see when I post. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.